Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about Retrieval. Was this the, what, the 10th episode of The Bad Bats? And I'm sorry that I, it's been like, oh, like, oh, what, about a month since I last covered it? I got some catching up to do in my reviews. Mainly. Um, so as you guys know, well, well, in this episode, I should say, um, the Bad Bass goes to this mining world where, uh, um, where, uh, for Sid, right? And they essentially got their ships taken away and they were stranded on the, uh, world, right? Well, now they're going back, trying to, like, locate their ship, which they do, and the ship is, was taken several meters away several hundred thousand meters away and the way they know it's a thousand meters away is because um Omega thinks of the idea of using gonk their gonk droid as a beacon so they do successful and turns out it's in this area where this one guy is exploiting these other people to do the dirty work as he is it joined the spoils he he is um as Cassie and Andor would say fat and satisfied and um the bad bats locates a kid who stole their ship and essentially through some hurdles they are able to locate their ship get their ship and expose that the guy was taking more than he just like more than his share and the people didn't like that so there was a little rebellion revolt and um he and then um there is this one part that for some reason kind of reminded me of um the lion king when like the whole stampede scene and um in the Lion King and then um Scar kinda like throws Mufasa off that cliff, hence Mufasa's death. Mako being the uh leader, he, he yeah, he uh he fell to his death. For some reason that hit him falling to his death reminded me of that scene in the Lion in the Lion King. I don't know why, but I did. Um, and then essentially, the uh, um, Omega asked the kid, "What are we going guys going to do?" And the kid said, "We're going to keep um mining this mineral that we've been mining the entire episode and before, because that's all we know." And Omega says, "Well, you guys can be more, uh, be more." So I'm. Thinking at least some of these people will be part of the rebellion because at this point in the Star Wars timeline The rebellion rebellion has not been formed yet But my theory is some of these people will be part of the rebellion in the future That's my theory if not the rebellion then the resistance and the Omega tells um, uh, Hunter that the Empire is not the only evil but it makes some remark like, yeah, but that's the main threat we're facing right now. Can't watch, can't relax. Exactly. And then boom! Credits based on Star Wars and characters created by George Lucas. And uh, that's the end of episode. Um, it was a good episode. Um, like I said, I know I got like um, episodes that I need to catch up on. Cause I got like uh, after this like two more ups, two three more episodes to catch up on. <laughs> Cause uh, currently the last episode that has been released by the time of me recording this is Papu. Now episode fourteen might come out by the time I'm done reviewing or watching them, but um, like I said, I do apologize for uh, my lack of bad bass reviews for those of you guys who enjoyed it. Um, I will work on, uh, catching up this week. 
begin. So, um, with that said, what do you beautiful people think of this week's episode? Er, or episode 8. 10. Retrieval. Sorry I butchered it. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And may the force be with us all.